Now to vote 2022 and what a divided electric this year. Speaking nationally, of course, Democrats overwhelmingly telling pollsters that a functioning democracy is the biggest issue, while Republicans say the economy is throwing crime and it really gets jumbled. So what does that mean for the race you're looking at right now? New York Governor Congressman Lee Zeldin on the right, closer than most thought he would be. But with Republicans having fewer than half the voters Democrats do in the state, incumbent Kathy Hochul remains ahead. I was news anchor Sandra Bookman on what the candidates did today. Sandra. Yeah, Bill, both candidates were doing exactly what you would expect at this point in such a close race, pulling out all the stops to get their voters to the polls. And that meant getting a little help from their political friends. Is Westchester ready to fire Kathy Hochul? Lee Zeldin campaigning today before a fired up crowd at a get out the vote rally in Thornwood, Westchester County. With a little more than a week to go until election day, the Republican candidates seeking to capitalize on some surprising momentum in this very blue state. Polls show the race with Democrat Kathy Hochul tighter than just about anyone expected. It's like a NASCAR race, you know, you got Kathy Hochul kind of kind of bumping along the final term, and here comes Lee Zeldin on the outside. And once again, Zeldin enlisted the aid of an out-of-town governor to help pump up voters. Today, it was Virginia's Glenn Youngkin. Florida's Ron DeSantis was in Long Island on Zeldin's behalf over the weekend. We are going to do what many said was impossible. Meanwhile, incumbent Kathy Hochul started the day standing with local elected leaders and anti-gun violence activists, touting her record on gun safety and questioning Zeldin's commitment to the issue. Don't come here today and tell us that you've got a tough on crime plan that's just soft and squishy on guns. <laughs> with crime a top issue in the race, during a weekend campaign event with New York City Mayor Eric Adams, Hochul also touted an interstate task force run by her office that has reportedly removed more than 6,000 weapons from the streets. Thank you for your steadfast, unrelenting leadership on this issue. That's right. Now, Zeldin is not the only one leaning on big party names to help him win. Former President Barack Obama is featured in a new radio ad for Hochul, and Hillary Clinton is expected to campaign for her this week. All of this an indication of just how close this race is.